Hey traders, going to be doing a uh, update today just on gold, silver, the mining stocks. I'll be looking at stock market as well too. Also be looking at Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin in trouble and why uh, we could actually be forming a top right now. I'm going to share with you all the details. Let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, um, just to let you guys know that um, I'm actually about to take down free access, free membership access to the trading course. So if you want access to the breakthrough trading course, it's free membership access. I normally charge 500 bucks for it. I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm, I'm about to take it down. So guys, go to johnsfreegift.com. Should be linked in the description. Go get free membership access. It's all free and, um, or it's free right now anyway. Um, and, uh, and start to learn all the stuff that you need to learn. Um, again, I know people charge, you know, hundred dollars and I used to charge hundred dollars, but guys, I'm just giving away for free. So go get free access, membership access guys. And I'm going to app, I know you're going to absolutely love it. So go see that. Now, Let's have an update on gold, silver, mining stocks, you name it. Um, some, uh, oh, looking at this, uh, looking at what's happening here right now on, um, on gold, we can see we've had this sort of high point through here around that 750. We had a pullback, had a rally up, and we actually just, we're not getting too much of, of, of a sign here yet when it comes to uh, you know, when it comes to gold. Gold right now is just slowly having a bit of a pullback and a breakdown. Again, I do see gold still getting back up towards the 1810 level. Uh, when it when it comes to uh, when, when it comes to gold, I do see that. And then uh, and then we're probably oh we we'll just we we'll have to wait and see what happens after that. But on a short term basis I definitely do see that. Um, and looking at this let me just take this off the screen here. And uh, and I, I definitely do see there's actually a bit of a trend line coming down through here. So I really want to see gold. Uh, gold is an overall big downward trend right now, um, especially on this weekly, or shouldn't say downward trend, but just on a bit of a bearish pullback through here um, on, on gold through here. So you can see we've been sort of slowly stair-stepping down on this weekly charts. I would want to see a gold if we if we can get back up if we can get up to 1900, uh, then that'll be that'll be sort of the, the starting point. What I believe to seeing gold uh, finally make that move, uh, or, or maybe maybe gold is already starting to do it right now. It's just been very slow in doing it. Um, some stocks win ugly, which means they take their time uh, and having big run, and some some stocks don't. And so we can see what's happening here right now, right? We have a bit of a double bottom right now. We're rallying up. We really want to see, or first target I do see it going and getting to is 18.20, but we really want to see it get back above this sort of long-term resistance line up here. And so that's basically what, um, uh, should, should I say, once we get back above 1900, guys, then it's going to be really interesting to see uh, whether we can actually start to see uh, I do, I do, I do see that no matter what happens here on the short term basis, I do see probably a five or ten thousand dollar gold because I see gold. To me, it sounds like gold backing digital currency sounds like the thing that is going to be on the books, and it may or may not be, guys. But I think gold backing some sort of digital currency actually sounds pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so, uh, let's have a look at silver right now. What happened with silver today? Silver didn't really do much today. B bit of a, bit of a sideways, slightly up day. Again, we want to see silver break this. There's this resistance level right here that silver's still having a lot of problems with. Had a lot of support back here. There's $26.50. Um, we can see we had a resistance through here and then we had resistance through here. Um, and, uh, and you can see that once we do, if we can start to break above 26.50, then we're probably likely to see some nice moves to the upside. A uh, bit of a nothing day when it comes to uh, the GDXJ. The GDX is once again, has is very, very, very nicely broken out of its long-term downward channel. It's a very nice long-term downward channel. Now we're actually breaking to the upside. Um, and uh, SIL, bit of a nothing day as well too when it comes to the SIL. Uh, we do have that sort of resistance there around the 1650 or SIOJ and the SIL. Uh, once again, we're still just stuck in this overall just sideways range. No one's really in control. We're not making lower highs or higher lows. 
we're sort of just in the sideways range through there. So that's what we're seeing through there, guys, overall, when it comes to uh, the silver miners uh, and stuff like that. Let's have a look at the Dow Jones. Uh, Dow Jones, bit of a nothing day today, again, and the S&P 500. And then also the NASDAQ as well too. NASDAQ actually had a very nice rally out. We're making this nice little high low through here. So guys, I, I've been saying for the last few weeks, I do see a rotation out of things like banks uh, and all those other um, banking and, and stuff like that. And then moving back into tech sector. So tech sector to me, guys, does sound like that we uh, that it's going to continue up very nicely. I'm personally in Microsoft right now, have been now for a few weeks. Um, so I definitely do see tech sector making a very nice move and I'm almost about to get into Facebook as well too so very 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 nice when it comes to when it comes to that and the uh, the trading there so really 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 uh, excited about what's to come I think we're about to see a continuation of a very another not another light a, a really another nice leg up uh, in the tech sector there guys um, also when it comes to the commodity prices I want to share this here if you look at soybeans if I squeeze soybeans chart up, right, look at this here. Soybeans chart since since June, July last year, massive move. Just absolutely massive move. Inflation happening. Soybeans. Uh, look at things like corn. Look at this here. Since uh, basically, yeah, yeah, around August last year, we made the bottom. And then we've been making, corn's been absolutely just gone burko, right? So we're getting a lot of these commodity prices. But look what's happened with wheat. Wheat is the wheat is the, the is the sort of the slow coach, and we're slowly making our way up. We haven't had much of a big vertical move compared to the other commodity prices, but we are starting to see a very nice move up with wheat. So if you look at wheat on the big picture, um, actually let's go back to soybeans here. We're looking at a weekly chart right now, guys. This is this is uh, soybeans on a weekly chart. As you can see here, bit in the middle last year, we had a very big move up. If we have a look at corn. Again, on the weekly chart, you can see we had a very nice move up. But if we have a look at wheat, look at wheat. Wheat's still down the bottom here. So wheat, to me, is one of those one of those things that's probably going to be dragged up massively um, by all these other commodity prices. I wouldn't be too surprised, guys, to see wheat go through the roof. Now, let's luck. Uh, last but least, guys, when it comes to the updates today, when it comes to the good old Bitcoin prices. I believe Bitcoin prices are now, now the warning sign that the, that the bull market is over. The warning sign that the bull market is over, guys. So I believe any rally is likely to be short-lived and we're going to likely to see another drop to the downside. Because guys, uh, on a simple technical analysis basis, if we see, or if we, in a upward trend, we have higher lows and higher highs, okay? And if a low is broken, we're no longer making higher highs. This is where the trouble can start to get into and this is where we can start to see that. So guys, right now, the bull market is over for for Bitcoin. Well, it's potentially over, but this is the first warning sign that, that we're now either likely to go into a sideways phase or we're likely to go through a bit of a pullback now, uh, especially after this big bull run when it comes to Bitcoin. Because look at this here, guys, right? So what do we have? We had this low point through here. And we had a high low, high low, high low, high low. Look what happened right now. Broke this low. Guys, that's a warning sign. And look at it. It's actually below my, this is the 52 day moving average because I'm actually looking at a daily chart. So therefore it is a 52 day moving average. If I was looking at a weekly chart and I had the 52 moving average there, therefore it would be a 52 week moving average. Fantastic. Classes in, classes in session. Or actually class just end. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Class has ended. So guys, I wouldn't be too surprised to see a Bitcoin fail now and we actually start to see a lot more downside that come out of Bitcoin. As you can see, and it was starting to get a lot of, a lot, very, very frothy. It was struggling. As you can see, like it was just right here. We had, look at this here. We had a low, high low, made massive higher highs, breaking down, massive higher highs. Look at this here. Slight high low, high high, high low, slight high high and then break it down. So I wouldn't be too surprised to see that or that when it comes to the good old Bitcoin. Things like Ethereum as well too. Um, Ethereum is looking really, really strong compared to Bitcoin. Ethereum hasn't broken a low at all yet. We have a low, high low, high low, high low, high low, and also higher low through there as well too. So we are starting, we are getting a very nice move to the upside guys. So guys, um, Ethereum's looking really strong, but Bitcoin, most of you guys are Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Um, guys, 
If you're hodling in the Bitcoin right now, praying that it's going to go to 80,000, guys, don't. Take some take some little chippies off the table. Um, have your stops in place. And if you have just mortgaged a house to be in Bitcoin right now, then there is a possibility that this thing halves. So if you've just taken a $300,000 mortgage off your home to get into Bitcoin, then this is the wrong, wrong thing to do because your 300,000 you just borrowed from the house, it may be, just, may be paid off for the last you know, 30 years or 20 years or whatever, um, could literally be wiped out just like that. Especially if you're on margin and you've got that, not only can you lose that, but you're probably gonna lose the house that you've just mortgaged out there. So guys, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Make sure you grab that free trading course right now. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think, guys, about what's happening with gold. Do you think gold's gonna back the digital currency? Do you think, um, and do you think Bitcoin is over or do you think Bitcoin's about to go for another run? Let me know, guys.